Hey trans youth, it's Kenan. This week's topic is about stealthiness. And I definitely crave being stealth. And I did not really think that I would want that going into transition. Uh, I've always been a pretty proud queer and a proud uh, gender queer and proud trans person. But as time goes on, and time meaning like six months, <laughs> um, as time goes on, I really am uncomfortable with the ways that people look at me and act around me. And sometimes the comments that people feel like are okay to make to me and the types of questions that I'm asked. So for example, I just met my girlfriend's father for the first time a couple of days ago. And one of the first things that he commented on was my body. And I was wearing like, it was, I had just gotten back from surfing and I was just wearing like a, a muscle shirt. And the first thing that he said was like, wow, you have uh, quite the physique, you have really big muscles. And he started asking me lots of questions about like uh, what I eat and how much I work out and stuff. And like, I just don't think that he would have made that comment had I been just like a regular cis guy. Because like I am muscular and I do have uh, a muscular physique, but in comparison with other guys my age like I'm not really that huge like I don't think like I don't know and uh, I think that it, he made that comment because he was like wow this is like a female person who is like massive and like really muscular and uh, and he knows that I'm trans because when I first started dating uh, my girlfriend uh, I wasn't even like I was only just really early in transition, and we've been together for like a year. <clears throat> we just got back together, P.S. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I would really like to be, to be stealth, uh, but I can't be in that situation because uh, my history is known and also because my girlfriend... Uh, wants to identify as queer and not bisexual and she's kind of like into being like a queer woman which is fine like she's she can have her own identity but it definitely uh, impacts on mine <clears throat> so yeah and then also so being in a small town I think I've explained before uh, everybody here knows about my history knows that I was female like half the people in this town I went to high school with or my parents are friends with or are my brother's friends and uh, everybody knows that I am used to be female and they some of them still see me as like probably just really super masculine female and uh, yeah so I can't be stealth I can't be stealth in my town I can't be stealth in a lot of my friendships I would really just like have to move to another part of Canada, I think. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Kit wants to wants to go to some other part of Canada. We could go to like the prairies. We'll go to Saskatchewan. Or, um, maybe we'll go to Regina or something. I hear that there's a pretty big queer and trans population there. <laughs> so yeah, book your ticket and I'll come pick you up and we'll flee the... Uh, immigration police so um, yeah I would really like to be stealth but I don't see it being a possibility oh yeah I'm just going back so yeah I just I do want to be stealth because I just don't like the way that people look at me and think that I'm a big freak I really don't like being seen as like a human anomaly I much prefer just to be seen as like a regular kind of person or at least like I do like to be a bit freaky sometimes but I like to have control over when that happens like I like to do that with my dress or my hair or like 
I don't know, I just, I like to have it be planned and organized and, um, you can't do that when you're, when you're trans, like, if someone knows, they're just, even, you could look as normal as possible and someone knows that you're trans, so they'll just automatically think that you're a big weirdo. So, oh, and actually I think that that, um, that there's differences here between trans guys and trans women because uh, I think that trans guys can probably uh, construct themselves as a little bit more normal and accepted um, because I just think that the whole history of like trans women uh, has a has a real like um, connection between freak freakishness and perversion and uh, which is really difficult to escape and I don't think trans guys face that same history so we are in some ways able to construct ourselves as a little bit more um, more normal even even when our trans status is known so that's pretty much all I have to say I have a friend another friend visiting from Toronto now, that's why I've been so busy. I've just had these strings of visitors, and then I've been traveling a little bit around my province for because it's the summer, and I've also been finishing up a bunch of work and now applying for jobs. So, yeah, that's why I also couldn't take that regular spot. And uh, I haven't made any videos on my own channel. So, yeah. Anyway, take care. Have a great week and weekend. And... Uh, I look forward to seeing everyone's videos. Ta-ta!